Hello everybody. In this video we are going to learn a story that will help us memorize all the features of the bacteria Actinomyces israeli. To learn all the features of this bacteria we are going to focus on the specific epithet of this microbe which is israeli. This word sounds similar to the country Israel and hence in the story we are going to talk about the inhabitants of a small town in Israel. The people here are healthy people who only consume grams as a part of their diet. Hence these organisms are gram positive. They have clear skin with no spores due to their healthy eating habits. This indicates that this bacteria is non-sporing. They have a rod and a robe as a part of their attire in this village. Rod means bacilli or rod shaped bacteria and a robe refers to the anaerobic living conditions of the bacteria. All the members of this village are fun guys with a lot of friends or connections. Fun guys means fungi indicating that these bacteria are similar to fungi due to their wide ranged connections or the branching filaments like fungi due to the fun loving nature of all the people they don't like moving out of this village therefore they are non motile organisms their fun nature makes them stress free thereby giving them no cardiac issues This statement indicates that they are similar to nocardia which is another microbe. People in this town don't prefer keeping cats in their houses as they feel cats may be unclean and they may have to use strong acids in order to clean the areas contaminated by cats. They don't like to do this because they don't like using strong acids and prefer using natural products made in the village itself. This implies that This bacteria is catalase negative and it is not an acid fast bacteria. These features distinguishes them from nocardia. Due to their healthy eating lifestyle, they have a healthy elementary canal, which means they have healthy mouth, gums, pharynx, gastrointestinal tract, and their urogenital tract is also quite healthy. This statement indicates that Actinomyces israeli is the common flora of these parts of the body and it remains asymptomatic in these parts as long as it's under the check of the immune system. Unfortunately, the village suffers a famine and people do not have adequate amount of grams in order to feed themselves. This resulted in the inhabitants looking out for other food options. These other food options have deteriorated their health resulting in immunocompromised individuals which immunocompromised individuals are at high risks for such diseases since the people have starved most of the time due to the famine they feel that they didn't have to brush since they didn't eat anything this has caused a lot of tooth issues in these individuals they have had to visit dentists and since a lot of people have to visit the dentist due to the exorbitant workload on the dentist they've started to make mistakes resulting in oral trauma to a lot of people after this oral trauma the bacteria has gained access into the inner layers of the skin causing an abscess which can fistulate as well Fistulation of an abscess refers to the abscess making a sinus tract in order to drain the pus. This is called as a cervicofacial actinomycosis. This abscess can go deep and it can also result in osteomyelitis. This abscess is visible as a pus-filled mass on the cheek. Change in the diet, they've started to consume non-vegetarian options like fish and chicken. Some of them accidentally swallow fish bones since they're not experienced in consuming these products. While swallowing, they realize that they've swallowed a fish bone and cough in order to get it out. Unfortunately, the fish bone enters the respiratory tract and it causes a mucosal laceration. 
This can occur at any depth of the respiratory tract, at the larynx, the bronchi or the pulmonary area. Pulmonary area referring to the lungs. This implies that respiratory actinomycosis has three forms. Laryngeal actinomycosis, bronchial actinomycosis and pulmonary actinomycosis. After this episode, the symptoms that these people might be facing are cough, sputum with blood and chest pain. In some individuals, they do not realize that the fishbone has entered their body and it manages to reach the stomach and the intestine. The doctors perform a surgery on the intestinal tract in order to remove the fishbone. In some cases, the fishbone may cause perforations in the appendix as well. They may observe a granulation tissue that mimics a tumor in abdominal actinomycosis. People may have symptoms like abdominal discomfort and changes in their bowel habits. In some females who have had IUDs, which are intrauterine devices in their genitourinary tract, they have not changed it for a while and they are with it for over 5 years. And this is due to the poor income as a consequence of the famine. As a result of having these IUDs for such a long period of time, they have developed pelvic inflammatory diseases. They realized this when they suffered from lower abdominal pain and vaginal discharge. Due to the famine, people had become pencil thin. This indicates that penicillin G is an antibiotic in order to treat this condition. Those who did not become thin even after the famine are those who are allergic to penicillin. Therefore, they go for cycling in order to get thin. But they get surrounded by dogs who dirty their cycles. Remember that the inhabitants of this village prefer being away from animals due to their resistance in using acids for cleaning. Hence, they have to clean their own cycles which are now dirty. And this cleaning is their sin. This ending states that people who are allergic to penicillin can be given doxycycline and clindamycin. In cases of severe actinomycosis or a pelvic inflammatory disease due to IUDs, a surgery may be required. In pelvic inflammatory disease, the IUD has to be removed immediately. To summarize the story, we are talking about a village in Israel and the people here eat grams. Due to their healthy eating habits, they have no spores on their skin and their attire is a rod and a rope. They are fun guys and due to the good company that they have or the good friends that they have, they don't want to move out to the village. They have no stress in life and therefore they have no cardiac issues. They prefer using natural products only and they don't want to use any kind of acids in order to clean any part of their house and hence they do not allow cats to enter. Due to the healthy eating habits, they have a healthy elementary canal as well as a healthy genitourinary tract. Few years down the line, there's a famine in this village. So there are no grams available now, which was a common diet in this village. Therefore, they look for other options. They were literally starving. Therefore, they decided not to brush. And, there, and this resulted in a lot of oral hygiene issues. Therefore, they had to go to the doctor's office. And over here, the doctor, he had a long line of waiting patients. He was pressurized and therefore, he had made certain mistakes, resulted in a lot of oral trauma to the patients, resulting in cervicofacial actinomycosis. And they started to change their eating habits. This resulted in a lot of immunocompromised individuals. They started eating fish and chicken. Since eating fish is not that easy, especially for someone who is inexperienced, they accidentally swallow the fish bone. As soon as they swallow the fish bone, some of them realize that they have swallowed a fish bone and they start coughing. This results in 
the fish bone getting into the respiratory tract resulting in a mucosal laceration ultimately respiratory actinomycosis can occur in any of the stages of the respiratory tract either the larynx the bronchi or the pulmonary or the lung after this episode the patient may observe cough chest pain and sputum with blood some people who eat in the fish bone didn't realize that they've eaten the fish bone and the fish bone enters the gastrointestinal tract it enters the intestine and may also enter the appendix and result in perforations of the appendix once it enters the intestine doctors perform a surgery to remove it abdominal discomfort and changing bowel habits are some symptoms for gastrointestinal tract actinomycosis and finally some females who had put their iud's way back more than 5 years back they have not removed it still because removing also requires some amount of money to be paid to the hospital and they do not have that amount of money with them due to the famine and therefore they've kept the iud's within their uterus and this has resulted in pelvic inflammatory disease and they've realized that they've got that due to the symptoms which are lower abdominal pain and vaginal discharge a few individuals become pencil thin after the famine this indicates that penicillin g is one of the antibiotics for treatment and the others since they are not thin they go out and cycle and when they cycle there are a lot of dogs that come behind them this is indicative of doxycycline since the inhabitants of this village are very nature associated hence they do not like to use chemical products and acids to clean any of their belongings hence the dogs dirtying the cycle is literally like a sin for them because they'll have to clean their cycle using the acid products hence cleaning now is their sin so clean the mycin clindamycin is the other antibiotic that can be given if they are penicillin allergic patients